My name is Gunnel Axelsson Mikander, working as a policy advisor at the International Department of Church of Sweden. I'm here today with Father J.P. Heath, also a policy advisor at the International Department of Church of Sweden. And we are celebrating today a ruling in the Supreme Court in India, where as a result of this ruling, homosexual activity is no longer criminalized in that country. Um, and during the hearing, there was a book handed to the judges as part of the evidence. Uh, it's called I am divine and so are you. Church of Sweden has been part, together with parties, of, of uh, producing this book. Why is it that we have been working on this? In 2014, uh, in the Uppsala Festival of Theology, we had a stream that was um, specifically on human dignity and human sexuality. And during that stream, we did the investigation that led us to write this book, Behold, I Make All Things New. And in Behold, I Make All Things New, we examined human dignity and human sexuality from the perspective of the Abrahamic faiths. And that led us to really explore what other world religions said. And that gave rise to this book, The I Am Divine, So Are You, where the Karmic faiths were explored and looked at how they were inherently affirming of people in their diversity. And that's really what brought Church of Sweden into working on these two books. And today it's Thursday. Uh, to, um, the World Council of Churches has a campaign called Thursdays in Black to end rape and violence, uh, gender-based violence. Um, do you see a link between those, the campaign and this ruling and this work? I think that, uh, that um, colonialism in all its forms has been one of the greatest violences meted out in the world over the last number of centuries. And this section 377 of the Indian, Indian Penal Code has been in place for 157 years, introduced under English rule. And so to have this ruling made today is one more break of the brutality that criminal, uh, criminalization has been introduced in the legal systems with. So I think that this fits in very well with the theme of ending rape and violence because we are liberating people through this process. You were talking about colonialism, but isn't it when Church of Sweden is supporting a book project like this being published in India, isn't that a part of new colonialism? You know, I think that's a really important question and it's one that we wrestled with. And uh, I think that the integrity with which we approach, approached this process was to say, how do we afford people in India from their karmic faiths the ability to um, explore their faith from the perspective of human dignity and human sexuality. And so we approached experts and researchers in India who were able to put together the material that we published in this book. So really what we did was facilitate, not dominate. Okay, good. Now, where can we find out more about these books? At the end of this month, we're going to be in Yettebori for the book Mesa. And on the 27th, we're going to be able to present both these books and we're going to have a, a discussion on them. And so we welcome you to come and join us for that.